And that same power outage caused problems for local businesses and one major Raleigh Park, as we mentioned. CBS North Carolina's Bishop Ed May has been reporting on this crash and its impact we've had all morning since the wee hours of the morning. Good morning or good afternoon now. Hey there, we can't keep track of time because we have been on air with this story all throughout the day. So, as you notice, I'm no longer outside on Ash Avenue. Instead, I'm having fun with some friends. Are you having fun? Woo! So we're here at Pullen Park. The electricity is back on here, so we're getting ready for a train ride and enjoying some of our summer day here. But take a look at how people dealt with this power outage earlier in the day. Trains out of service, carousel isn't spinning, and cash is the only way to pay for tickets. When it was time for Pullen Park to open at 10 a.m., Duke Energy crews were still on site installing a new power pole while the cable company worked on their own lines. Well, what do you girls think? Are we disappointed? No, I want to go on the paddle boats anyway. I don't even <laughs> like the train. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to make the best wow. of it, I guess. The Timken family was getting ready to celebrate mom's birthday, so even with the change of plans, they're still excited for the day. But other families were a bit let down with no power to fuel the fun. It's okay. We're still going to make the best of it. I grew up here. Um, this is the second time I've been able to bring them here. Um, so it's fun to be able to keep that tradition going. Um, and uh, it's okay because we're going to go have lunch with uh, Papa after we leave here. Some say they couldn't wait for the power to return. Babysitter Christina Platt had a long list of plans for the day and just wanted to take a quick stroll. You know, it doesn't really impact us too much uh, since we don't really go on them that much. So um, we're mostly out, out and about, but the breeze is nice. So Overall, most families say they're looking at the bright side, quality time with their loved ones. So I know our train isn't moving, so you may be questioning if the electricity is actually on. It is. I did speak with Raleigh Park, so Pullen Park, full electricity back on here. We are getting ready to go off maybe in the next few minutes. So if you come back to us in about 15, you might catch us having some fun. So I promised two ladies here, Kamora and Sophia, that they could say goodbye. So can you guys say reporting live? Reporting live. With CBS North Carolina. CBS North Carolina. See you guys. I'm Beershell Edmund. We'll send it back to you. Have fun out there, Beershell.